Indigenous Services Minister Patty Hyadu says the multitude of wildfires this spring is putting her department to the test. We are in an extremely unprecedented wildfire season. Um, the forecast doesn't look good. It's all across the country and uh, the scientists are predicting uh, severe wildfire risk for the month of June, July, August. So Indigenous Services Canada continues its work. It's really driven by First Nations leaders who have emergency planners. Alberta has been particularly hard hit by fires. And NDP MP Blake Desjardins says he has seen firsthand what wildfires have done to the East Prairie Métis settlement. When the evacuation order was lifted, can you just imagine how painful that would be to see a family hoping and praying their best to go home? Desjardins raised the East Prairie situation in the House of Commons on Monday and says they need immediate help from the federal government. But Haidu says it isn't quite so simple. Métis communities technically fall under provincial jurisdiction, so the Alberta government would have to request help before the federal government can move. Provinces have been putting in requests for assistance. In fact, we've pre-positioned pieces of support, whether it's Red Cross contracts with the Red Cross or military support to fight fires or protect communities so that we could uh, really quickly move in when the request for assistance comes from the province. Um, it's important that provinces consider Métis communities and Indigenous communities. But Desjardins says Alberta has only paid lip service to helping the community so far. And East Prairie needs help now. The larger sum of money that's required to rebuild is in the 30, is in the dozens of millions of dollars. They're still calculating the total damage, but while they do that, it's important that Indigenous Service Canada and its jurisdictional football passing stop the passing of the buck and actually pay so that these folks can get support they need. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.